This is just a short film to show you how to use uh, the artboard layout for the likes of Priceless and any designs that we're uh, kind of giving out. We're looking at selecting a board, editing a board, changing the board layout as well as the output of it and things really. So when you first double click onto the file or o open it in your Photoshop, um, this was available from 2015, you'll soon see that it basically the artboard shows across the whole desktop itself. To kind of go into uh, the specifics, obviously zo zoom in, I would definitely recommend you using the scroll wheel to move in and out and obviously just uh, pressing the uh, likes of the hang key to move uh, uh, across to specific boards. To select a specific board, let's click on Artboard 4 and if we just click onto the top of the board, um, this now actually selects it. How do we know that? Well, if we open up the layers palette, you can see here that the uh, Artboard uh, layout design is technically just a variety of groups of layers together. So in other words, you've technically got the same as you would have had on a normal PSD document, but f visually they're actually spread across the page. To go in and edit a document itself, once you've selected the artboard, um, you can actually go in and if you have the auto select, so if you click on the move tool and you click on your auto select, it means that when you click into a specific um, area of the document that you want to change, like the pricing in here, just by double clicking, you can then go in and actually change this in exactly the same way as you would have done beforehand by uh, selecting the amount and shade and shade change in it so you won't affect any of the layout as such um, and you can obviously just make the adjustments as you're going through in the same way once you've finished editing the document you just click on the uh, move tool again and that obviously sets it in place and if you want to um, switch any of these artboards off so let's say for instance you didn't want to actually show the classically framed artboard 5 if you click on the top part here and then if you click onto the eyeball down on the bottom side you can actually switch that off now if you want to actually keep this artboard but you don't necessarily want to actually use it as part of your PDF switching it off uh, will obviously help you visualize what you're actually going to output anyway if by accident you go ahead and you've basically moved the board to a wrong place or you want to move these boards in different positions um, so to move a board in different position just click on the artboard itself on the name move it to the position that you want to do if you've moved quite a lot of them around and you want to actually align them all then basically first things first you want to actually select all of the artboards at once to do this I usually click on the hamburger at the top right hand side of the layers palette go to collapse all groups select all of the um, groups here or, or the different artboards by shift clicking and then pretty much I can just go to the top here and realign and I can obviously separate or disperse them into the separations as well so don't worry about things in the wrong place you can actually change and rearrange where these things are going to go without any real work so once you've learned how to select a board, once you've learned to edit a board, um, obviously as far as the images are concerned, if we just uh, select Artboard 6 for a minute, you can see by clicking onto any of the elements, the same thing applies. So within it, you've still got the smart objects here of the likes of the photographs. Let's just zoom in there, just using the scroll wheel by clicking that on and off. Yes, and then right clicking onto that layer and then replace contents with go and choose uh, whatever you have uh, as far as the uh, element is concerned clicking onto the right photograph that will then actually change it you can still go in of course and uh, create the new size and remember once the size is resized based on the pixels that you generally use because all cameras are different and obviously you crop things as well but as we we do that remember a smart object remembers that for the next time you were to replace an image so with with all that done obviously I'd recommend that you save the document first before you do anything else then to output this as a PDF you've got to remember oops let me just uh, collapse that 
you've got to remember that um, as far as layer 15 is concerned, Photoshop sees layer 15 as the bottom of the pile, so that's at the end. Artboard 2 here is basically in the order that you want them. But if you can pay attention, you can see that Artboard 2 is followed by Artboard 5. Now in the uh, layout here, what you've got to remember is it's going to actually see itself. So you need to actually move that Artboard layout to the position you want it to be before the export. So just because it looks like it is on the actual art panel uh, layers here, um, it's going to save, save itself from the top board downwards. Which means if your very first uh, cover is number 1 down at the bottom, and then number 12, let's say, is at the top, you'd have to actually click on the reverse um, the option when we get into the export. Once that's done, we literally just go into File, into the export and then obviously we can output these art artboards as JPEGs for the likes of uh, an app or whatever it would be plus we can also output them as a P PDF. When you're saving this as a, P a PDF by default the include overlapping area is set so you want to change that to artboard content only and by default, the reverse page order is not click, clicked on. Remember what I was saying? If that this front cover was the bottom layer, you would have to then click on the reverse page or order for it to be saved in the correct way. Once you click the run command after choosing its destination and giving it a name, then obviously Photoshop will take quite a while to actually process this into either if you've chosen the JPEG option for export before into that or in this case into the PDF. So it's as simple as that. Use the move tool, select onto the board that you want to create. Have the auto select layer in um, uh, there clicked on click onto the element that you want, zoom in, go in and then actually change whatever you uh, want to do as far as the uh, pricing changes are going to be concerned to do with you, etc. That's how you use the artboards.